Good morning and welcome to Good Day Westeros. This is our morning show where we talk about Game of Thrones. I'm Proma Kosla. I'm Max Knobloch. And uh, there's no one else on this show. There never has been. Don't ask us about it. Max, how was your weekend? It was good, Proma, and I actually have some exciting news and I want to get right into it. Okay. Um, as opposed to my normal thing of explaining my weekend plans in great detail, I want to explain what happened this weekend again, but it involves this. Um, I was, What's that? I, no, this is a flash drive, mm. U, uh, USB flash drive, G-Shock. And um, I, can we get a zoom? Okay. And I was at my apartment, at home, sitting, and I get a knock on a door. And it's a guy I know from middle school. I haven't seen him in years. And he says, I, I hear you do Good Day Westeros, and I have something for you. And I say, what, what would, would you possibly have? He says, I have a USB flash drive with leaked episode seven. Do you want to see it? I said, absolutely not. Get the hell out of my house. He said, please take it. I said, okay, I'll take it. I'll take a look at it. You can negotiate. And he, he showed it to me. And let me show you now. We're a few so minutes late. This is the, late. the, this is the leaked episode. This is the season finale. Whoop. So this Always. is the next episode. We have an exclusive for you. We got an exclusive, and we're going right to throw to the clip of the exclusive this leaked episode. And this is very exciting. Keith, what's your password? Uh, one, two. One, two. Okay, so we're we're right in here, and we're just going to click on this, and we're going to take a look uh, at uh, at this app. HBO Kidnap. HBO has been hacked for weeks. They've been terrorized by a lead. hacker. I know that hacker from middle school. He's a good, good friend of mine. It's such a small world, and you know? It's so small. It is so small. And he sent me this tape of the episode, and we're going to take a look at it right now. Wow. Now we can tell what we're, we can certainly see what we're looking at here. This yes. is. Yes. It's very clear. Great wow. hack. One of the best. Now, this, of course, is Jon Snow. Mm. This, of you course. You can tell is, because of the, um, you mm -hmm. know, the, that. Mm hmm. I, I'll tell you what, uh, I confess, I'm in love with the show. <laughs> Who the heck is that? I still... Now this is a White Walker from Nets. Um, one of the characters in the show. Yeah, I know who that is. You're mansplaining. Okay, let's just fa tell you what, let's skip through. Yeah. Let's fast forward because the middle parts of these episodes are, are just uh, huge moments. It's not <laughs> about the journey, it's about the destination. Right. And here we are. Nearing the, the last, the last two hours of the show. Okay. I can't it. Take a look at that. Wow, what an ending <gasps> to that show. I mean, that's gonna be. It. I'll tell um, you what. Season seven look is looking to be one of the best seasons of the entire show. Tell you what, we're gonna throw it to Bob. He's usually over here with us. This time we sent him over to uh, the lake battle featured in the last. Of course, it was at the last episode, and I believe it's just post the lake battle right now. Bob, how, is, how are things out there? I Bob. said you're out there at the lake battle. That is, are that you is right, Max. Oh, sorry. Yeah, Bob, oh, Bob, Bob, how is it out there? Oh, man, it is just now, Bob, freezing. This, was, this lake battle was actually pretty yes. interesting because it featured the White Walkers and all the whites, their whole white yes, army. Many of them. That is, uh, that is right, Max. Oh, you sorry. An interesting thought about that lake because yes, did you see? So we have Jon Snow. Mm -hmm. He has the sword that Jorah Mormont gave him. He tried to give it to Jorah. Jorah's like, no. And they do this whole the back and forth, the you know the dance with, like you do when you get a gift. Exactly. But when Jon almost dies for the what time is it? Seventh the time. Seventh time. Seventeenth time. Yes. No. Well, gonna die soon. Uh -huh. So Jon almost dies. He has his near death. He's almost drowned. But then within about thirty seconds of him splashing the whites are like, eh. Yeah. So they just roll they out. They left, they and left. And he reaches for the sword, and it looks like its eyes open. Yeah. Which is weird, because swords do not have eyes. Yeah. Usually, mm -hmm. faces, personalities, sentience of any kind. But this one might. So that's the new thing we have to that's deal with. so cool. So cool to think about that maybe the sword. I wonder if Bob got a closer <clears throat> look. Bob, we actually have to get out of here because we've been on that. We've been on you too. We have to move along. Thank you oh, so no, much, okay. so Bob. And uh, we're going to go back to John you a little Snow bit later. John Snow was right here. Uh, good work. No. Good work. Stay warm. Okay. Let's talk Arya. Oh Arya my goodness. right now. What I love about the Arya and Sansa <sighs> plot line, and we saw how that wraps up in, in the leaked episode, and boy, oh yeah. boy, is that satisfying and good. Um, and Arya uh, is just, they've been arguing for, I guess, I guess what's happening with Jon and Danny has taken 
about five years. Mm -hmm. And what's happening, so that means that Arya and Sansa have been just having this just relatively petty argument for five years. For about a, yeah, a, 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 college, a length of a college degree. Um, do you like that? Do you hate it? What's the, what's you know, the scoop? I think we thought that they were going to meet each other again. They were going to have this tearful, triumphant reunion, and they were just going to be sisters and just mm -hmm. be a loving family again. Um, but it's Game of Thrones. That's too easy. We yeah. have to we have to work for it. We have to suffer, and now we have to watch them act like they're literal children yeah. again. Mm -hmm. They don't trust Reverting. each other. They don't like each other. Yeah. They don't like to be in the same room, except if one of them is threatening to maybe kill the other or, or just steal her face, I God, guess. God, it stresses me out. It stresses me out so bad, and I'm at home, and the wife is saying, you know, can you focus up on the problems here, on the problems at our house? And I say, I got to think about this. I got to figure this Sansa Arya thing out. That's true. Let's jump to the power ranking. Now, the power <laughs> ranking this week is going to be it. Now, we already know how this all boils down. Yeah. But let's run down the quick five because it's what the fans want, what the fans love. Number five, coming in number five, well, we're gonna throw out the Sansa. Yeah, she's still Lady of Winterfell. She's still doing a good job. She's she's getting some pushback now, but as a leader, you need to overcome uh -huh. obstacles. In this case, the obstacle is, once again, her own flesh and blood, one of her only living relatives. Most of her family is dead, but petty arguments cannot just be now buried. She, she, of course, also has now discovered something about Arya. She's no longer just completely in the dark. You know, now she knows, oh, Arya has a, has a backpack full of uh, human heads, human mm -hmm. faces uh, that she keeps under her bed. She's a super spy and she holds all of her master disguises just in a loose bag exactly. right under the bed. And number four, of course, is that sister, Arya. Arya, of course, we already talked about, she's got a couple faces in there. Yeah, I think faces automatically just like push you up mm -hmm. a little bit in the power rankings. Mm -hmm. She has. Two, we saw two, I think there's more. I think that whole bag is full of you more. You dig deeper. Or she has another bag. Sounds that like could be awesome. The whole room. Yeah. You gotta look there's a whole in the closet. There's just like loosely in the closet, there's another whole chest filled with more yes. faces Some and shelves. Uh, secret notes. Some, yeah, and I also think that everyone's traveling so fast this season, so Arya's probably just Maybe zipping she's back everybody. and forth, Maybe going she's to Bravos, been, getting more faces. Number three, of course, is Jon Snow. Jon, a literal god at this point, mm -hmm. I would say, as close to God as, I, as any character I've ever seen in television. The guy can't be killed. Uh, and uh, he, he, it has been told to us several times that he's in love with Danny, And it seems yes. like she likes him back enough to give him a little hand squeeze. I like that because, you know, I wasn't sure. I saw two attractive people who had never met before, and I had no romantic thoughts about them whatsoever. Right. But once Davos said it and Tyrion said it and said, Hey, hey, guess what? Yeah. John likes you. I started to think, do ben. they? Is there chemistry here? That was all it took. Number two, of course, is Danny, the Nerys. And that's, I th is that the first, one of the first times we've heard her called Danny on the show? Um, only a few people which she mentioned, so that's exciting. Now she has a new nickname. That's, that's a. Yeah. And oh, also, of her course, brother her brother called her that, but that was in season one. Mm -hmm. um, but somehow, I think they probably had a scroll about that as well. Like, hey, this is Viserys. Hey. This is his sister. He calls her Danny. Right. And then that scroll, I guess Arya found that well, one too. But she was like, way. I can't focus on this. Sent that to John. So right. John, when he's in recovery, recovering from his hypo hypothermia, I mm -hmm. guess, or pneumonia, who it could be anything. We got a fan theory. And then he wakes up and he's like, Wait, I got this scroll. Got it. Her name is Danny. Yes. I agree. I don't see anything wrong with that. Also, she has, still has the dragons. Um, minus one. But of course, in the leaked episode, we see that that dragon wakes up and it says, I'm sorry, I'm a good guy again. Uh, Thrown over to the Night King. The Night King is looking pretty good here. One, the guy's got a new drag. The guy has a, a whole army still. Only a couple of them fell into the water. And, yeah. I, and I guess they, he just has Somebody, like there must be a hundred guys just dedicated to lugging these chains around. Yes. And they're probably thinking, what in God's name is this chain for? I am P.O. Imagine how P.O.'d you'd be if you and a hundred buddies had to carry around. Yeah. And it's been years. They've been doing years. this for decades, centuries, who knows, but now, Six now seasons. they know. Now they finally know, of course, he first saw he had the dragon would fall into the, into the lake and go deep, deep down. And of course, they'd probably have a whale down, a big old whale with blue eyes mm. or something that could hook up and to the dragon. that's good leadership, is foresight. He knew yes. what was coming. And he also, uh, he revived his javelin skills this episode. And that's why he's number one. Someone has to clean this up later, Max. This I will. Is I'll really, do it. It's just... 
Let's throw once more to Bob. Uh, and Bob, of course, is over here on the wall. Bob, I'm sorry for leaving you. And last time, I feel like you said you wanted to talk about something and we didn't let you talk. Go ahead, Bob. Leaving us high and dry here, Bob. Nothing unusual. OK. Thank you so much, Bob. Uh, <laughs> what a rude a-hole. Um, I guess that's I guess, do we have anything to add for this app? I mean, now all I want to talk about is the finale that we just yeah. watched, but we can't do that. We can't. I mean, you saw the clips that we released. We released a few clips, and you can see. And let's take one more look at one of those clips. <laughs> so I think you. I think you got an idea of what's in store Unreal. for you. Real.